This is a recorded Golden Valley Speaks presentation for the regular Golden Valley Planning Commission meeting of May 22nd, 2023. Agenda item number four is consideration of a conditional use permit to allow for drive-through facilities at 8240 Golden Valley Drive, a location that will be re-addressed as 600 Wisconsin Avenue North once redevelopment occurs. The site is located just north of Highway 55 and west of Winnetka Avenue. It is part of a larger redevelopment project that will create a 303-unit multifamily project in addition to a new Wells Fargo Bank branch. The current site is one acre in size, but after the property is replatted, the new parcel will be 0.6 acres. It contains a vacant office building from 1966 surrounded by 65 parking stalls. A 4,500 square foot branch bank building is proposed for the site once it has been cleared. The building would be one story or 21 feet 6 inches in height and would have 23 parking spaces to the north. Two drive through lanes would be constructed to the east of the building. Hours of operation are expected to be 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. The drive through lanes would be open seven days a week, 24 hours a day, and would not be staffed by tellers but would be ATM stations only. Architectural elevations of the proposed building show two drive through stations. Each station would be approximately 10 feet tall, 3 feet wide, and 3 feet deep, with a 3-foot overhang for protection from rain and snow. Staff review included potential impacts around traffic. Queuing space is being provided for up to 8 vehicles in the drive through lanes. Any backup beyond those 8 would take place within the parking lot and would not spill out into the city right-of-way. At the current level of drive through transactions of approximately 40 per day, staff does not anticipate any issues. Similarly, the location of the drive through lanes behind the building and away from the planned off-street trail along Wisconsin Avenue will help avoid conflicts with bicyclists and pedestrians. Vehicles exiting from the drive through lanes into the cul-de-sac will cross a public sidewalk, but they will be commencing from a full stop at an ATM station. Separate from the conditional use permit, bicycle stalls will need to be provided on site to meet the requirements of the city code. Since there will be no tellers associated with the drive through stations, there should be no issues related to noise from the speakers. After review by other city departments, there were no comments or concerns from engineering or fire staff. The review of a conditional use permit must focus on the characteristics which might have an unusual impact upon surrounding properties or which might otherwise adversely affect the future development of the city or the general public health, welfare, or safety of the property or residents therein. Therefore, staff recommendations for the CUP are limited to those items deemed to have potential impacts on the surrounding area. City code lists 11 factors of evaluation covering concerns such as demonstrated need and consistency with the comp plan effects on property values and impacts on traffic and congestion, increases in population and density, and other potential issues such as noise, odors, etc. Staff believes the new building would enhance the visual appearance of the lot and the location of the drive through lanes would preserve a more attractive streetscape. Based on the findings, staff is recommending approval of conditional use permit number 175 allowing for drive through facilities at 8240 Golden Valley Road, subject to one condition that there continues to be a minimum of eight queuing spaces provided in support of the drive through stations. Anyone interested in asking a question or providing public comment on this request can do so by filling out the online form at the bottom of this page or by calling the phone number listed and leaving a voicemail. All comments that are consistent with the comment policy will be shared with the Planning Commission in advance of the live public hearing.